quantitative easing. Who's doing this quantitative easing? The central bank is doing the quantitative easing. What does it mean to do quantitative easing? This is the government here, okay, government. And government is running deficits, right? What they are doing, they need money to borrow. So they will issue bonds which will happily be bought by private banks. This is a bank, it's a private one, or I don't know, some kind of investors. These are the investors. I make a huge building here where the investors enjoy the life. Okay, so they will buy the bonds, right? Okay. Now the government can spend the money to do nice projects, help uh, the economy, invest in infrastructure, hospitals, teachers, policemen, whatever. Good. And, and now there is a point where you see this crowding out effect starts to appear because all these institutions they gave the money to the government when private company this is a company yeah, they, they try to produce something okay like a new car electric car and they go to the bank and they say oh, i need money the bank will say sorry about it's too risky for me you know I'm not interested, I, I'm uh, preferring the government bonds because it's safe for they pay everything, no problem. Okay, and this is hurting the real economy which is a problem for the government because the government would, would like to collect taxes from this company. If they cannot invest, if they cannot develop, whatever, they don't create jobs which means the government will have to pay for unemployed, they don't pay taxes, which means the government will have to borrow even more. So we are like in a dilemma. You see, the government wants to spend money that, but wants to collect money in the same time, which is not really possible. And here comes the nice central bank. And the central bank will say, no problem, give me your bonds. And this is not a full story because, you see, I said, I, I wrote here government. But what government? If this is the German government, it's no problem. Yeah? It's a very well-known government which we trust, right? What about if I write here like... <laughs> then then, then we, we have a problem, right? Because, you see, if you, if you have this government, uh, it's... a. Uh, Tricky question if they will ever be able to manage the economy right. But the central bank of the uh, Eurozone, Eurozone, you know what is the Eurozone? It's the countries that have Euro as a gas. They said, no problem, we, we, we buy Greek bonds. Okay. So if they are buying all these bonds, they will give money here, cash, 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 cash. There will be like a rain of cash and, and you see, at the end of the day, it's like the central bank is helping the government, right? It's indirectly, because the, the money that now flows from central bank to the commercial banks was here in the government hands. It's, the flow goes from central bank to the government, actually, but through the private investors and the commercial bank, the private banks. And if the government keeps spending, that it means the central bank will keep on printing money. And it goes, and it goes, and it goes. And now, my friend here has a problem because he says, where is the inflation? Well, the inflation is here, my friend. It's just that you don't see it. Because we, we call inflation what? CPI change, consumer price index. This is what we call as inflation. But this is not the full story about prices. So prices will go higher in assets markets. Assets market, you see? There is the goods and services markets and there is an asset market. Prices will be higher there in assets market 